missed sheepdog tales. Aggie the orphan is now a grown-up sheep, living on the fields around Barra Farm. But he is smaller than the rest of the flock and is very easily frightened. Morning, lamb. Uh, hello, Mr. McPherson, sir. Please, call me Uncle Mac, or at the very least, King of the Highlands. OK, uh, Uncle K King of the Highlands, Mr. McPherson, sir. Why are you so nervous, lamb? Are you frightened that someone's going to... <laughs> I've never known such a scared as sheep as Aggie the lamb. How could a member of my flock be such a coward? Auntie Swift! What's, what? what's, what's going on? That, that sounds like Aggie. Auntie Swift? Auntie Swift! Aggie, you're as white as a sheet. It's McPherson the ram. He tried to attack me. Did he say something very quietly and then go boo at the end? Yes, yes, that's it. Ah, he does that to all of us. He's just having a bit of fun. So he's not going to chase me with his great big curly horns? <laughs> no, Aggie, he's not. Now, off with you. Have a long walk and calm down. The fresh air will do you good. As usual, Swift was right. And the walk along the cliffs made Aggie feel much calmer. But then, something caught his eye in the water. Surely he was imagining it. But no, there it was again. Something grey just below the surface. Ah, shark! 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 shark. No, no, no! Spend the seal! What a cowardly love. Auntie Swift, I saw a shark in the sea. It'll jump up and bite my bottom, I know it. A shark, you say? What does he look like? Grey and, and wet and, well, a bit blubbery. Did I hear someone say blubber? That'll be my mate Spender Seal. And Spender Seal is not a shark. Spender Seal's a seal, you daft cotton bud. Oh, so he's not going to bite me then? No, Aggie, your bottom is quite safe. I think you'd better sleep close to the farm tonight if you're going to be so nervous. But Aggie was still frightened when it came to bedtime. Oh, I don't like it round here. It's even worse than on the cliffs. What was that? <gasps> it's just a dog, Aggie. It's just a dog. It, it, it's just a dog. wolf in the yard. Oh, Aggie, how many more times with these ridiculous stories? But it was a wolf. Do I really look like a wolf? Cool. Oh, it was you, Eddie. You've gone too far this time, Aggie. Just leave me to my sleep, go back to the flock and stop bothering everyone. Silly lamb. Oh, I'm sorry, Auntie Swift. I'll just go for a wonder by myself then. Keep myself to myself. The following morning, Aggie wandered along the cliffs, all alone, apart from the birds. At least they weren't frightening, thought Aggie. Except, what was that? Soaring behind him. It wasn't a seagull, or even a kestrel. It was too big for that. Rich brown feathers, yellow hooded eyes, a fearsome hooked beak, and talons strong enough to carry a lamb. Oh, that's a grand old bird up there. Looks like a, an eagle. A golden eagle? Oh, a golden eagle! Eddie, 
Run for your life, there's a golden eagle! Yeah, right. And I'm a giraffe. <laughs> giraffe? Nice one, Sam. Oh, Jake, take cover. There's a golden eagle on Mort Point. Oh, and I'm a killer whale. Got any more jokes? Oh, it's not a joke. Oh, Angie Swift, you've got to believe me. There's an enormous golden eagle on the cliffs. Of course there is. And I'm a rhinoceros. But it was... A very angry rhinoceros who's had enough of your fibs. Now shoo, Aggie. Shoo! Aggie returned nervously to the cliffs, determined to prove he was telling the truth. Oh, and there's Mist. I suppose she's come to tell me to stop fibbing too. I didn't make it up. There was an eagle here. I know, I know. Look up. There. Yes, I told you. Eagle, eagle, eagle. Eagle, eagle. Eagle. Aggie, Aggie, stay very still. But he's getting closer. It's time to be brave, Aggie. The more we panic, the more we'll look like prey. What does that mean? It means he'll think we're food. Food? Oh, no, here he comes. Uh, uh, please, sir, please, sir, don't eat me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm not very tasty. I, I'm all wool and gristle. I am not going to eat you. You're not going to eat us? Correct. I am not hungry, but I am lost. OK, um, where do you live? What if I knew that I wouldn't be lost? Yes, yes, of, of course. Um, how did you come to be lost? <sighs> It has been such a cold, cold summer where I'm from. So I kept flying down towards warmer weather. And now, I cannot find my way back. Back to my family. What does your home look like? My eyrie is in the side of a high mountain, with snow on its cap and heather at its base, surrounded by deep, dark rocks. The Highlands. Well, what did the little lamb say? It's the Scottish Highlands. I've heard Mr. McPherson talk about it. Then you must take me to this McPherson. Oh, no, 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 no. He's the grumpiest ram in the world. Aggie, if you're brave enough to talk to a golden eagle, I'm sure you can face McPherson. <laughs> the dog is right. Lead the way, lamb. Huh? And so it was that the lamb led the dog and the eagle to the ram. Uh, what was that? Uh, is it me or is that a golden eagle? If we stay very, very still, he won't see us. Are all rams as stupid as you? Well done, Mr. Eagle. You found him. Aggie, what are you doing, you fool? Run! It's all right, Mr. Uncle Max, sir. He needs help. What are you talking about, boy? He'll have us for supper. The brave lamb is right. I need help. Help to get home. Home, you say? Oh, never heard of it. Can't help you. Bye! But he lives in the Scottish Highlands. Scotland? Scotland? Well, why didn't you say... Oh, Scotland, proud and brave, oh, my land, my home, but the memory... I'm in rather a hurry. Oh, right, of course, um, well, we're in the south now. Not our choice, mind. And Scotland's in the north, and that there is the sea, that's north. Fly over the sea, over the valleys of Weir. And then turn right in the Lake District, fly up a bit more. And sure enough, you'll soon see the highlands of Scotland and your home. Uh, thank you, Rams. And thank you, Aggie. Oh, that's quite all right. You're the only lamb I've ever known not to run away from me. Farewell, brave. The eagle soared effortlessly away over the sea towards his home. It's just taken off, look! Gee, Matt! Oh, a real live golden eagle in Devon! How unlikely! What are you looking at, Auntie Swift? An eagle, Aggie! A golden eagle! What are you talking about, Auntie Swift? I didn't see an eagle. 
Did you, miss? No, you must be seeing things, Swift. It, but it was. It was just there, as plain as the orange on my face. No, no, that wasn't an eagle. It was just a buzzard. A kestrel. A sparrow, up close. Really, Auntie Swift, you must stop making up stories like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes, all right. Very funny, Aggie. Good one, Aggie. Good one. Thanks, Uncle Mac. And we'll be here again to see Miss Dawn.